In the last few months, scammers have thought of a new way to take advantage of eBay. This time not selling you graphics cards, but instead buying the ones you've put up for sale. Right, so I wanted to start this video with a little bit of a recap on where this graphics card is from and what's actually happened. So this here is my friend's R9 390 that I used for a video a couple of months back covering the surprisingly capable performance of the R9 390 in 2022. But after that was all done, I said to him, I've got an eBay voucher for no selling fees, would you like me to list it up on eBay for you and you can enjoy a bit of money for your graphics card? And he said, yeah, that's absolutely fine. So I listed this graphics card up on eBay and this is where things get a little bit interesting, as this card was bought, causing me to lose my voucher, and also ensured that, well, a scammer wanted to get a hold of it. So, as you can see, there's the eBay listing for this exact graphics card, and that all leads us to the interesting story of how I got a little bit of payback on a scammer that wanted to mess around with this here R9390 and myself causing me to lose that eBay voucher. So, on with the video. So, given my main annoyance is that I wasn't able to relist the item as I'd lost the voucher that actually incentivized me selling it on eBay, I thought we'd actually find out exactly what the scammer wants and how this new scam works, which led to me having this little exchange of eBay messages, as even though he has a UK eBay account registered to a postage address which is apparently in the UK, all he had to do was add Lebanon UK onto the postage address and for some reason that allows him to have a UK eBay account without eBay even detecting it as them wanting international postage. Absolutely no clue how that works there. My first message was purely letting him know that I wasn't offering international postage which is where he wanted to take things off of eBay. So I thought, you know what, let's find out how all this works and why they want you to go off of eBay. From here though, we had a message claiming that he would sort out postage and would even pay more money, which immediately set off a load of red flags to anyone that is in this situation. From here, I decided to press him for a little bit of an explanation, mostly claiming that he hasn't paid for it, so why should he get this item? And this is promptly where the real scam starts. See, we had a reply stating that he would reach out and show evidence, and gave this reply from a hacked Outlook.co.uk email. And this is where you've got to remember something. These scammers will be targeting older people selling things on eBay that are the type of people that are going to fall for someone asking to message outside eBay for all types of reasons. And because they use a .co.uk email address, it gives the look that the email is more genuine. It's coming from a UK-based email and it was something he was very keen to press on. Now, really, no one should ever follow through with any of these things. If you're on eBay, you should never really do transactions outside of eBay so you've got a degree of protection for yourself. But if you do find yourself in this situation, you can just report the accounts and wait to relist your items. But given I had a spare unused email account that's completely unrelated to myself, I thought, you know what, why don't we see how far this little rabbit hole goes? So I sent this email saying that I was told to contact here, I did my own spelling mistake, and signed off as Steven Spielberg with a U, which, you know, just helped add a little confusion on my part. What I got back was a seemingly copied and pasted email, which claimed that one, he was a wealthy doctor who needed this card, as well as letting me know he uses three names, both John, David, and Jerry. His proof was attached below and was a seemingly modified PayPal account with just over 50 grand in it, ignoring the fact that the dollar value of the account was around one dollar. To this I replied, saying that it sounds very interesting that he needs this graphics card for his doctor's work. Dr. John David Jerry, which I assumed was his name, you are a very wealthy man from your PayPal account, so I'm sure I can trust you with this endeavor. What is it you'd like to do? Regard Stephen brackets, not the film director of E.T., which is something I just kept throwing on at the end to see if he'd even pick up on it. He didn't. It took a few more days to receive a reply. I was assuming that he might have caught on and realised that I was just having a laugh a little bit, but he hit back with, Hello friend. Yes, I am doctor. We must perform all of the medical research on computer hardware, but it makes it very hard to understand on my today equipment. You, Stephen, seem to understand much of what I'm saying, and to that I say to you, you will help all of the sick and ill. There are many. 
I suggest that you use postage courier of your choice and provide me tracking information. Upon arrival, I send you the money via PayPal. Evil eBay take too much from my doctor's funds, which promote the death of the poor and ill. We save lives sending money outside of the Ebays. I can also guarantee you longer life and many full encounters should you help our lord with this errand he has selected for you. Yep, that was very confusing. You are friend. He didn't sign off, he didn't say your friend, doctor, whatever his name is, just you are friend. Seemingly he was hoping that I would just ship the card and that would be the end of it with, you know, this UK based email, the promise of extra money, the fact eBay was now evil and causing suffering for the poor as key components to the scam. Some of which are a tad more far-fetched than others, but you know, at this point, he's just trying to scam someone. By this point though, I thought I'd try and push it a little bit further, adding some extra names in with each email. I sent, hello Dr. John David Jerry Bruce. This does sound like a very pressing matter indeed. I should really inform the post office of this evil the eBay is doing. I'm sure if they knew they could speak to Mr. eBay and ask to have those fees reduced for doctors and other such distinguished gentlemen like yourself. I can speak to Esmeralda at the local department, no who clue who that is, and get her to look that while she packages things up for us old chap. Regards, Stephen, not the producer of Back to the Future. From here though, the mention of talking to someone else really does stir up scammers. I know this from a few videos I've seen on other channels, as soon as you mention you're going to talk to someone else who's going to inform you that you're being scammed, they get panicky and that's exactly what he did. Replying with, Stephen, good friend, I do not know of the Esmeralda of which you speak. She may hinder this issue, wasting time with eBay. Those who you talk to may try to push you towards the eBay and we must not have this. I provide for you now, trusted friend, my postage address, which went to a load of units somewhere and uh, I won't be providing the addresses, but um, long story short, it was just a unit and a postage address. It probably wasn't a house or anything like that. Please do hurry. Time is going for the needy and I cannot guarantee you additional funds if the post is not yet dispatched today. This is life death emergency. Please, good friend Stephen, may you follow with photo of tracking ID. You are doctor. Now we've become a doctor. It's very easy to become a doctor actually. All you've got to do is reply to this fella and he can give you a doctor's license or something like that. Now clearly at this point we had him panicking, so I held off the replies a little bit while I planned something a little bit extra to really sling this scammer along. Now you've got to remember, he's wasting a lot of time primarily messaging me. While I've already reported his eBay account, I've already reported the email, and it's only a matter of time before they're closed down. So really, all we've got to do is keep him busy on us so he can't scam other people, which sort of brings us to this bit here. Right, so for this section of the video, this is where things get a little bit fun. So I thought, I've actually got a box that looks almost legitimate for sending a graphics card. It's actually what I got my RTX 3050 in, with a DHL package for international shipping, which specifies video graphics card array card, with the same weight as a normal graphics card, which is probably what the graphics card we're going to be using weighs. But the question is, what graphics card are we going to use? Because I don't want to send him anything decent. Well, big thank you to Mike over on the Discord, who gave me full permission to use, not this, I believe this is an Abergold cassette, I'll have to check that, yes, we, he will not be getting an Abergold cassette, but he will be getting, somewhere in this bag, this, the 9500 GT with missing PCIe lanes. It's rusty, it's pretty bad condition, it does work but it's ultimately a worthless card and it just looks absolutely horrendous. Imagine thinking you're scamming someone out of a nice boxed R9390 only to receive this. So what we're going to do is we're going to box this up in here and then once we've got that done we're going to pop to the post office and we're going to get this shipped. Right, so you now join me in the car, so I'm just going to start up the ignition. I've got the box all here, I can't show the other side due to it actually having the guy's address on it. I'll stick that thing on there. Right, all we're going to want to do first is take out the Arctic Monkeys, 
And uh, you know what? It's a good thing I got that ABBA one out the uh, other side. So uh, we'll have a bit of ABBA on the way over to the post office. Just so he knows we've been scanned by a guy listening to Swedish pop music in a Volvo. Which I think's good. Anyway, let's head off. Right, so what I went and did was I dropped this off at the furthest away depot I could with no link to myself at all, it's completely miles away, and I offered him a tracking number. He didn't know it was for the cheapest and slowest postage service I could find, costing me not even really much more than £4 to send what is actually quite a large but very poorly packaged box. So what I did was I sent him this follow up email to let him know his R9390 was on the way. Hello Dr. John David Jerry Bruce Cement. Good news, I was able to dispatch the parcel. Please see this tracking code, which I blocked out, which should help both the poor and the ill and the needy, which you have said, I am sure, will help you with your research in ways I cannot even fathom. From Stephen, not associated with Jurassic Park. And he didn't really merit this with much of a response, I mean he's got exactly what he wanted, he thinks he's getting an R9390 just posted to him and he doesn't have to worry about it anymore. So I thought I'd chase him up a little bit with the money aspect of things and keep in mind he won't be getting a penny and we won't be getting a penny. So he thinks he's just got away with a £200 graphics card being posted internationally for him completely for free. And any further chasing with mentions of money got me absolutely nowhere, because frankly there is no money, leaving us to play the waiting game. I did send him the occasional message to see if the inbox had died and things like that, and it wasn't until we were nearing the end of this video that they'd actually closed down that mailbox. So all we had to do now was wait for the scammer to find out that he has been well and truly scammed, wasting about two months of constant conversation and absolute nonsense while I make this video getting an absolutely awful graphics card. This of course took around a month and a half for him to actually receive the graphics card, with no amount of pestering making much progress on the fella of the occasional response promising that there was money on the way or he was waiting for it to get into the country and things like this. I did notice that his eBay account in this time had been suspended, which may have made him a little bit suspicious. This of course led us to his final email where it just arrived, and of course he was not very happy. So either way this is what he sent me. You are explicit. Occupy my time on for month. O occupy my time on for the month. I'm very sorry for doing that. Um, you tell me you send graphics card. This is no R9390 I ask you for. This is junk from Bin. Well actually it was from Mike over on the Discord actually mate. Uh, you waste my time for month. You deserve to burn. Explicit. You Explicit. Ruin plan for month. Tell me whole time, Mr. Steven, send me graphics card. No, Mr. Steven. You are liar and thief. That of course brought us to the end of the scam. By this point I'd reported any of his active accounts using the information that I'd actually gained off him from the PayPal account, the postage address and things like that. The email has since been closed down as well as the eBay account with a blacklist set for the address given, which should hopefully make it a little bit harder for the scammer to take advantage of the platform. The last thing I did was actually send him an 8K or was it 16K quality image of Steven Spielberg saying nice 9500 GT and then lol. And uh, that really sent him into a rage and I can't actually show that email because most of it is far too explicit for eBay. Not eBay, uh, YouTube. Either way, it doesn't matter. Um, his accounts have been taken down and the fact that he's spent all this time trying to scam someone out of an R9390 and he's managed to get a broken 9500 GT is frankly just hilarious. Right, now this video was certainly a different one to make, as usually when I do these scam graphics card videos I buy the graphics card, do some digging, find out what they're selling and take down the sellers. But this is a whole different scenario and it's taken months to put together and I've tried to do it as professionally and as accurately with a bit of comedy thrown in there as I can. So in reality you shouldn't go ahead and do any of this, you should report these accounts, wait a little while and relist your items, get in contact with eBay and find out if they can reimburse your vouchers if you've used any and go from there. Do not go external outside eBay as then you're entirely liable for the actions you are actually partaking in. So 
Don't go, don't go outside eBay, stick to inside it, avoid the scammers, report them, get them taken down, and don't go ahead and do anything like that. Honestly, I was just annoyed about losing my eBay voucher, which prompted an entire video on me taking down a scammer. So I hope you've all had fun watching, and good night. <laughs>